talking about? I was like stuck in the washer. Oh. Guys, I'm here with Justin Bieber today, and today we're gonna. We, we, got got bowl, we, got we got the bowl, guys. We got the bowl. <laughs> What's up YouTube, so today we're going to be doing an update video on David Dobrik and what camera he uses. But before we start, I'm just going to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this. So comment down below if you guys like this type of video and comment down below which YouTuber you guys want me to do next. And subscribe, keep post notifications on because I am going to be doing more videos just like this one. Let's get into the video. Honest, Tom. Carolina. Carolina, you gotta get off. You put me down here. No, I didn't. How did I get down there? Then? <laughs> okay, so David Dobrik actually uses a very simple setup. But what makes him different compared to a bunch of other YouTubers is a lot of other YouTubers out there, especially the popular ones like Casey Neistat, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, and a lot of typical vloggers out there, is that they use a wide angle lens. David Dobrik actually doesn't. He actually uses the Canon 80D with the kit lens. And he has two lenses, I believe. He has the 18 to 135 and the 18 to 55. The 18 to 55 is just a lot lighter, but I do see some shots where he zoomed in really close in. So I do believe he's using the 18 to 135. And this is where his filmmaking style kind of sets him apart compared to the other YouTubers out there because the other YouTubers out there uses wide lenses wide lenses that go up to 10 to 18 millimeter and a 10 to 18 millimeter is going to look like this as you can see it's extremely wide and this is a very popular shot because tons of youtubers use this to make it seem like you're you're there you're very close you're really close up to the person but david doesn't do this he actually uses the kit lens which is not bad it it looks normal to me and to be honest, it just has that, it's just more zoomed in. It feels more, it feels more natural. The 10 to 18 does, it can feel a bit too wide. So this is what David Dobrik uses, the ADD with the 18 to 135. But this is an old camera. This camera actually came out in 2016. So if you guys are planning to get this camera, there is nothing wrong with this camera. This camera is actually very good. There is also a newer one that came out called the EOS 90D, which has a lot of really good specs and I would definitely recommend you guys to check it out. But let's dive in into why David Dobrik is still using this camera with the money that he has. He knows he can get the best camera out there, but why is he sticking with the EOS 80D? Or maybe he upgraded to the 90D, but still, why is he not getting a $5,000 camera or a $10,000 camera? Why is he sticking to this base model $1,000 camera? So let's dive into it. Number one, it's because of its lightweight portability. You don't want a huge camera. David Dobrik is a run and gun type person. He just wants to go and get the shot and then that's it, that's all. He just wants a camera that can simply get the shot with minimal cor color correction, with minimal editing, so he doesn't have to worry about getting the right settings. He just wants a camera that just goes and just does it. So this is why this camera is actually perfect because David Dobrik probably knows all the buttons on this camera like the back of his hand. So I wouldn't blame him. I would stick with it. It's still getting him very good content, so why not? So why does he have to upgrade? Number two is because this camera gives that raw feel. It's not way too good quality where it's like a movie. It feels real it doesn't feel fake it doesn't feel edited it feels normal it feels like how you would experience life david dobrik is known for his comedy his adventures and his story and that's all that really matters in video making you guys don't need the best camera equipment there for other youtubers like emma chamberlain casey neistat they use casey neistat use the add emma chamberlain uses the canon m50 which are very cheap cameras as well compared to professional cameras these are very good cameras to begin with but there are more expensive cameras out there so guys that's pretty much it very quick and simple this is just an update of my past video because i did a mistake in my past video i said the camera that he was using was a full frame camera but a lot of people were correcting me and saying he was actually using the add and um again i couldn't really confirm which one is true but after reading the comments i believe that yes he is using the add because it's a lot lighter it's an APS-C lens and i would just believe that it's it doesn't really matter in the end of the day buy a camera that works best for you for david dobrik i'm almost sure now that he is using the add and not a full frame camera because add is like i said a lot lighter easy to use and very nice with colors 
So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Again, comment down below who you guys want to see next. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.